Happy Friday, psych students. <clears throat> I'm here today <clears throat> excuse me, to talk to you guys about triangular Sternberg's triangular model of love. So yesterday, I introduced the idea of social psychology, the idea that, or the, how we study our impact on other people, other people's impact on us, how we behave in groups versus how we behave as individuals. Uh, so we'll, we started off talking about theories of attraction, why people are drawn to each other. And today we're going to talk a little bit about theories of relation, or one theory of relationships, which is Sternberg's triangular model of love. So, you know, possible I'll try to remember to share the diagram later today. But in a triangle, there are three sides. So Sternberg says there are, are three main components in relationships. So you should have your notes out right now. We'll be going through those components and the different relationships that have to do with those components. And then you have a review assignment about it on Tuesday next week. So... Uh, the first one, the first component is intimacy. Now, in Sternberg's model, intimacy does not mean we're, we're not talking about sexual intimacy. Uh, intimacy is emotional closeness. In intimacy, some psychologists use the term self-disclosure, sharing your life or sharing your personality with someone else. Okay, So sharing all those juicy details about what you did during quarantine and things like that. That would be an example of emotional intimacy. And intimacy, and when we're looking at relationships, doesn't necessarily mean okay, you and your soulmate. You can have intimate relationships with your best friends. Okay? You can have intimate relationships with other people in your life who aren't ro ro your romantic partners. Okay, so intimacy, just think of emotional closeness. Passion, that's the sexual attraction. Okay, So intimacy, emotional closeness... Passion, sexual attraction. So uh, the part of the relationship that does involve sexual arousal would be passion. And then commitment, simply staying together through thick and thin. Okay, you, uh, You're committed to this relationship. Okay, uh, you know, people have their vows that they say at weddings and sickness and health for richer or poorer and things like that. All that would have to do with the, the commitment side of things. So together... They form a triangle. Each one of those, intimacy, passion, and commitment, is one side of Sternberg's triangle. Okay, so, Sternberg also talked about how different relationships have different levels of these pieces of the triangle. And sometimes they only have one or two. Okay, so, the first one on there, you see consummate love. Consummate love is all three. So, consummate love is intimacy, passion, and commitment. You think about ultimate loves that you've seen in your life. Maybe your parents, okay, grandparents, or perfect relationships you see displayed on TV and movies. That would be consummate love because you have the commitment there. Okay, you stay together for a long time. You have the, the spark, the zing, as they would say in Hotel Transylvania, the passion. And you also have the intimacy. So, if, you know, if, you, if your parents consider themselves each other's best friends, and that might be the, the intimate component where they share everything with each other all of the time. Your grandparents the same way, or maybe you have friends, maybe you. Maybe you and your, your current significant other uh, have that type of relationship as well. So that would be consummate love. So consummate love is all three components. The next one on the list, romantic love. Romantic love is passion, so the sexual side of things, plus intimacy. Notice we left out commitment. Okay, romantic love, passion, plus intimacy. So in that case, you've only got two sides of the triangle. And I guess a, a good example of that would be a summer romance where you know it's it's going to end at the end of the summer. Okay, when you and your significant other both go back to your respective schools or things like that. So the, the lack of commitment there kind of leaves out one of the components of romantic love. And it's really what you're looking at is you have the emotional closeness and you have the spark but you don't necessarily, you aren't necessarily in it for the long haul. That would be romantic love. Number three on there, liking. Liking is intimacy alone. So liking would be friendship. Okay, the, the fact that you're best friends with somebody, obviously you share a lot of your life with that person, but you're, there's no romantic spark uh, and there's no romantic commitment there. 
<laughs> some people would call this if let's say you're on the uh the end of the relationship where you want that romantic spark but it's not there you're in the friend zone okay so that would be like liking is intimacy alone infatuation would be passion alone okay, infatuation would be just passion so in a relationship like that there's just the uh the spark the zing the lust and that would be the the only side of things that's being fulfilled okay so that would be a relationship kind of purely based on the physical uh, not certainly not the emotional or spiritual side that you get with intimacy and uh, if it's if it ends quickly it ends quickly and then the last one on there empty love would be commitment alone okay in that case there isn't the spark anymore so there's no passion there isn't intimacy, this need to share your thoughts and feelings with that person. It's just committed. And hopefully you haven't, but maybe you've seen relationships like this that just continue going kind of based on their own inertia, where people are together and they don't particularly like each other anymore, but they stay together for the kids, or they stay together because they can't think of anything else they want to do. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a sad relationship. So that, there you have it. That's all for today. You have three components of relationships, according to Sternberg. Intimacy, passion, and commitment. Intimacy, uh, your emotional closeness with that person. Passion, the spark, zing, or sexual attraction you feel for that person. And commitment, your desire to stay with that person uh, for the long term. And different relationships have different sides of this. And what you're going to see on Tuesday is you're going to have to come up with songs that represent these types of relationships. A song that represents the you know, consummate love, the ultimate love song, okay, where all three components are portrayed. And probably passion, pretty much any R&B song really by R. Kelly is just going to be about you know infatuation, the passion side of things. Uh, so that's what you'll be looking at on Tuesday when we get back together. Over the weekend, if you haven't already... We got, I think, 10 people who have done the test so far, so we got eight more to go. Make sure you take the motivation and emotion quiz. Uh, keep up the good work on that, and have a good weekend. Enjoy the snow, and I'll see you guys next week.